Here's a problem involving projectiles. It says a projectile is launched horizontally, launched horizontally, into the air at 6 meters per second from an initial height of 11 meters above the ground. Calculate its two-dimensional velocity in the final moment of freefall just before striking the ground. So the final 2D velocity, that's my unknown. I know that it's launched from 11 meters up, which means by the time it hits the ground over here, it has traveled down 11 meters. Because delta y is downward, we need to add a negative. negative 11 meters. It's traveled forward some amount, delta x, but what about the velocity? On the x-axis, the velocity doesn't change. So if it's going 6 meters per second here, then it still goes 6 meters per second right here. On the y-axis, it's a different story. On the y-axis, the projectile accelerates down due to gravity, so it speeds up as it travels. And y, uh, by the time it gets to the ground, it has some final y velocity. This question is asking for the resultant. It's asking for the final two-dimensional, two-dimensional velocity. So that's the hypotenuse of this right triangle. We can find vfy. One of the equations that we have for horizontally launched projectiles, one of our equations is final y velocity squared equals 2 times the acceleration due to gravity times delta y. We plug in the negative 9.81 for ag. The delta y, that's a negative 11. We square root both sides. And because it's going down, we use the negative solution. And what's our answer? This comes to 14.69 meters per second. So now I can use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate the final 2d velocity to get this. I do this squared plus this squared equals this squared. And that's going to look like this. Notice I've dropped the negative because when I square, the negative goes away. Our answer comes to about 16 meters per second. We could find the angle to get the direction using inverse tan. We do opposite over adjacent. Here's the angle. So we would do the y over the x, which is 6. And we could calculate the angle, how, much, how many degrees down from right. Uh, but we're not going to worry about that. In these problems, we'll only be calculating the magnitude. So this is our final answer.